Hi guys, Erica here coming back to you today with a little bit of a different video and um, this will help me to kick off um, just letting you guys in on some of the other things that I'm very passionate about. As you can tell by the title of the video, I have something weird to talk about today, which is Crisco. And the title of this video is, as a Trim Healthy Mama, what can I do with Crisco? As you can see, this is the vegetable shortening. And this is for my international people that watch. If you don't know what Crisco is, it's basically here in the U.S. It's vegetable shortening, but it is solid. It does not melt at room temperature. So I'll give you a little look here. Okay, so you see that? It's solid and it's white. Traditionally, people use this to fry chicken and make other dishes um, bake with. For Trim Healthy Mama, as you know, we do not use vegetable shortening. Um, it's not good for your heart and um, just not good for your body in general. You don't want to eat anything that stays solid at room temperature there. I mean, coconut oil kind of stays solid, but it does heat up when your home is warm. We know that coconut oil is good for you. This is not, basically. So, what I wanted to tell you is an alternative use for Crisco, which for me is beauty, okay? As you can see, it looks like mine has been dug out a little bit just on the side. On this side, it's still kind of full. What you can do with this is you can use this on your feet, guys. Isn't that awesome? You can use this on your feet to get rid of dead skin. This is a old beauty trick, okay? And you can get rid of dead skin. It can revitalize your dry skin and it can make your pedicures last longer as well as, you know, you know how when you go to get a pedicure and they do the scraping on your feet? I find when I consistently use this, I don't have to get the scraping. Very little, very little. Another thing you can do is you can mix this in with your lotion in the cold months and it will moisturize your skin. You don't want to use just plain vegetable oil because it can be just a little bit slightly oily, but if you do mix it with your lotion, it will give you that extra moisturization that you need in the cold months. So I thought it would be a good idea just to check online and give you a couple other wacky uses or alternative uses for Crisco. I'm just looking online. One alternative here states that you can remove lipstick from your clothes. You just rub a dab of Crisco, then rinse the stained area with Canada Dry or Club Soda. So you can get lipstick out of your clothes. Another use is to season your new cast iron cookware with it. If you do buy traditional cast iron, you know it needs to be oil rubbed and then baked in the oven so that it will prevent any sticking in your future cooking. Also, another use is revitalizing your wooden salad bowls. So if anybody has that little old set, everybody's had at least one set of wooden uh, salad bowls, you can revitalize it. Um, another one is to clean ink from your hands or vinyl surfaces. This is a good one. You can preserve a wooden, a wooden cutting board so that's pretty cool let's see i thought i had one more and that's removing homemade candles from the mold so if you put just a little bit of crisco in there when you're making it when it's time to pop the candle out it'll pop out easily so i do hope this was great and helpful to you and it opens the door for me to talk about other things here on my channel because i do have a lot of passions and a lot of things i want to sh share with you guys so I hope you guys do enjoy this little tidbit here for beauty. And if you do, please do give it a thumbs up and please do rate the video. I hope it is helpful. Do share it throughout your social media. And thank you all again for watching. Bye. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.